And it's all brought to you by Eddie Hearn for Matchroom Boxing, together with Klitschko Management Group and K2 Promotions. This is 12 rounds of boxing for the unified WBA, IBF, IBO. by Mick Fit, William Hill, StubHub, and JD Sports, sanctioned by the British Boxing Board of Control, President Charles Giles, International Boxing Federation President Daryl Peoples, International Boxing Organization President Ed Levine, World Boxing Association President Gilberto Jesus Mendoza. Timekeeper at the bell is Bob Edgeworth. The three judges scoring. From the United States, Don Trella. From Puerto Rico, Nelson Vasquez. From the United States, Stephen A. Weissel. And your referee in charge of the action at the bell. From the United States, World Championship veteran David Beals. And now, the officials are ready. The fighters are in the ring. And they are ready. So for the record setting sold out, 90,000 fans here at Wembley Stadium and the millions watching around the world. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready to rumble! Fighting out of the red corner with his trainer Jonathan Banks and wearing gray, his official weight, 17 stone. Two pounds, six ounces, or 240 one half pounds. In 1996, he captured Olympic gold, and now his professional record stands at future Hall of Fame numbers, consisting of 68 fights, 64 victories, including 54 wins by knockout, with only four defeats. He ruled the heavyweight division for a decade, and tonight, he seeks the return to championship glory. From Kiev, Ukraine, presenting the two-time heavyweight champion of the world, ladies and gentlemen, Manadama Nuntan, Dami Gaspada, Dr. Steel Hammer, Vladimir Klitschko. And his opponent fighting out of the blue corner with his trainer, Rob McCracken. He's wearing white and officially weighed in at 17 stone. 12 pounds, 2 ounces, or 250.1 pounds. He captured Olympic gold at the London Games in 2012 and captured the hearts of a nation. Now, as a professional, his record stands as a perfect one. 18 fights. 18 victories, 18 knockouts. From London, he is the heavyweight fighting pride of all England. He is the reigning, defending, undefeated IBF heavyweight champion of the world, AJ Anthony. Participation on the grandest of stages, surely the most significant and certainly the richest heavyweight fight ever staged in Britain. Two Olympic gold medalists, consummate pros and physical giants collide after the classiest build-up to this clash of the ages, the youth 
Athleticism and freshness from Anthony Joshua. The vast experience and proven strategies of Vladimir Klitschko. The time has arrived. Light the touch paper. I'm still struggling to get to grips with how relaxed Anthony Joshua looked there on the announcement and how calm, but he seems very strict, switched on and focused now, straight behind that jab. Solid jab and a left hook early from Joshua. Inside the opening 30 seconds, who's going to get set to ring? Who's going to be able to assert their authority quickly behind the potent jab? Range very quick there, Josh with a right hand. He's looking again for the right and left hook. Klitschko just being a bit weary, but putting Joshua on his back foot, which I didn't really expect to see this early. One mistake could be so costly from either of them. Klitschko with 54 knockouts, Joshua 18. Every one of his opponents so far as a professional has fallen never gone beyond seven rounds Klitschko a master at the 12 round distance just out of range with the right hand who's settling better Carl? well at the minute it's just trying to find range with the jab they'll both be nervous they'll both be sort of in the feeling out process as we say but the right hands from Joshua are going in nothing really happening here Joshua looking for the left hook straight right hook the distance and range of both men is so good they're both very good boxers and they're both good counter punches Klitschko's not going to want to take a shot because of his age good jabs from Joshua early Klitschko hasn't been hurt for so many years but he was on the floor 11 times in that first part until Emmanuel Stewart redefined his style Got his legs working, underrated footwork. Brilliant ring acumen, he's so intelligent. What's left now? Body shot from Joshua. Nobody really trying anything too risky here. Klitschko trying the left hook and the left right. Joshua swinging, a bit clumsy there with the left hook but maybe just trying to get something going. Nobody really wants to take a gamble or take any risks this early on. He's inching close, Klitschko. Trying to make that positive start. Who can cope better on the back foot? Interesting first. Round two. Turn it into a boxing match, he can't outbox you says Jonathan Banks from that prompt sweatshop. He was also a student of Emmanuel Stewart as Klitschko fights and looks for a big right hand. He couldn't find that against Tyson Fury 17 months ago. Anthony Joshua so raw, really, as a pro at this level. It's a huge leap into the unknown. Well, he landed with a right hand there earlier. Klitschko, Joshua didn't seem too phased by it, seemed to switch him on because now he's dubbing that jab up and getting his feet in range. Just a little mark by the left eye of Anthony Joshua. Just blinking there. The battle of the jabs. Klitschko so effective on his back foot, almost to the point of negativity where he doesn't get hit. And he knows the devastation of getting hit at this weight and he's adopted his style so good over the years. Will Joshua be able to find him? He came in very light at 17.26, the lightest in seven and a half years. Klitschko is that for speed. He's trained so hard in Kiev and Austria. Anthony Joshua for 12 weeks in Sheffield. They've honed themselves to perfection for this enormous occasion. Joshua looking for the fast right hand that's done so much damage so far in his career, but Klitschko so good at judging distance. And 
the legs still seem to be there, Carl. Well, it's early on, but yes, he does seem to be quite light and nimble on his legs. Joshua trying to make stuff happen. He's the one stepping forward. He's the one behind the jab and trying to get this fight going. Fitzgo happy to sit back and look for the counter. I'd like to see Joshua do a bit more, maybe throw that right hand to the body. Obviously, watch what's coming back. But Fitzgo looks uncomfortable under pressure. I like how Joshua is setting the pace and he's allowing Klitschko to try to guess and come in like that. That, that, take, that. He's setting them up, he's setting them up, keeping the pace like that. Looking for the right hand counter there, Klitschko, as Joshua came in low. So a little reminder that Joshua can't switch off. Good head move from Klitschko, just trying to trigger something from Josh. Little feints with the footwork from Klitschko. Joshua just. Boy, sitting back looking for the counter. That's excellent ring craft this from Vladimir Klitschko. When he fought David Hay. The haymaker just couldn't get close. Over the 12 rounds, Klitschko dominated. He's so good at it. And as you can see, even though Klitschko landed the shot, it was never there again. Joshua is, is, is settling in, he's, he's timing them, and he's taking his range. Third of 12, the IBF, WBA and IBO titles on the line. The white trucks of Anthony Joshua, who started this round strongly. The grey of Vladimir Klitschko at 41. Hoping to emulate the likes of George Foreman, who knocked out Michael Mora 20 years on from being a world heavyweight champion. Defy the laws of logic, the age, and the young lion of Anthony Joshua, who starts getting inside with a combination. And the hand speed of Joshua is traveling Klitschko, who's being backed up and now holding on. He's put the pedal down, Joshua. Well, this is what we want to see from Joshua, the heavy work rate, the, the heavy punches, body and head and how Klitschko at 41 can cope with that. And he didn't look very comfortable under the attack, and under the pressure of Joshua right there. Just backing off and regrouping, Klitschko. He lost to Ross Purity in Kiev early in his career, and he was blown away by Corey Sanders, and then a strange stoppage defeat to Lehman Brewster. But for many years, the chin has held up. It hasn't really been tested, has it? It's not, no, it's not been tested at all of late. The Klitschko ace, the thing is going to be how long can he keep up with a young Joshua? He's coming on, the energy is moving, he's, he's throwing a lot of punches now. How long can Klitschko keep up with this pace? Well, that's it, as the fight draws on and, and Joshua steps on the pace and gets comfortable and comes forward with these shots, Klitschko will start to look more and more uncomfortable. In and out now, Anthony Joshua. So calm beforehand and really relaxing into this. Good jab as well. And Klitschko just uncomfortable in the center of the ring. Tries the left hook. Referee David Fields from New Jersey, former sparring partner of Marvin Hagler. Splits them up, experienced ref but he's never controlled a world heavyweight title fight before. What a place to start. He's on his toes here, Klitschko, bouncing a lot. You know, the amateurish bouncing technique that sets up the jab and gets you going, but I don't know if that 41-year-old legs can, can do that for 12 rounds, so I think he needs to settle down, get behind the jab, and maybe pull his guard up because he's wide open with that low left. Of 90,000. Millions around the world tuning in, stopping to see what happens with these two. Klitschko. Good, good right hand right there from the Klitschko, game. and another one. Doubling them up. Switched off a little bit there early on in the round, Josh, and taking two clean right hands. Is he hurt here? I'm not sure what's going off here. Holding there, Anthony Joshua. We remember he was stunned in that second round by Dylan White. He coped with it and came back and took White out, but he was shaken. 
Here's the experience of Klitschko tying Josh up then as he attacked, just sort of turning that sh left shoulder to his right, getting away from that Josh right hand, but was Joshua momentarily stunned there with that right hand? Certainly troubled. Deontay, what did you think about that? I think, he, I think he's still taking away. He's still coming. He's coming by. He let, he let Klitschko know, I am still here. This is the lion's den, he call it. Um, my question is, my thing is, I want to know, is Klitschko, he's lighter, is he trying to take him in the deeper waters like he is, or is he trying to get him out? Joshua, a career heaviest at 17, 12, 2. Seemed like he's just trying to take a face, Klitschko, and take him deeper like, like his plans was. Maybe trying to take him to late rounds, but here in this round, he's looking for that big right hand, and he's found home with it a couple of times. Joshua not in too much trouble. Un unsettled though, Anthony Joshua in this fourth round. Vladimir Klitschko having success, looking for the big left hook again. That put pay to Kubrat Pulev and several others during that long reign. Klitschko has found a little bit more confidence as well too. You see, he's been the more aggressive now since he's landed those punches. Right to the body from Joshua, trying to slow down the older man. So clever on his back foot, Klitschko there, just turning and leaning away and pivoting off on that front foot. Clockwise with his right leg. Oh, big right hand from Joshua. That Klitschko just spun it. He rides the shots, he rides them right hands, twists away. Trying to get inside and unload a snappy combination. He's a little more ragged, Joshua here. That confidence in the third round, not quite the same here. Nothing really landing flush from Joshua. Klitschko finding home a couple of times with that right hand, and then being very evasive on his back foot and very cute with his defence. That's how he needs to fight. He's an old man, let's not make no mistake. 41-year-old legs will catch up with him, but we know he's got 12 rounds in here. We saw it against Tyson Fury, he was OK late on. And we don't know what Anthony Joshua will be like late on, because we've never found out yet. Klitschko looking like he's fancy in this, just plenty of fakes on his front foot, good head movement. He's yeah. trying to trigger a rose, then he starts to get a bit of confidence. Joshua really needs to stamp his authority now, back in this fight. Fifth round in the 49th for Anthony Joshua. And the 363rd for Vladimir Klitschko and Anthony Joshua is going for it in the fifth round. And Klitschko shaken, he's hurt for the first time in 11 years. Big moments for Joshua. And he's cut as well by the left eye. And a left hook. Well, and Anthony lovely. Joshua is on the touch. Down. taking him out here. Down goes Klitschko in the fifth round. And rather similar to the Leymon Brewster fight. He's in danger of falling apart. There's so much time in the round. Joshua has predatory finishing in. Talks about stamping that authority in Joshua, did just that right there, and it was an explosive attack. Pull the left up there, Joshua. But the swinging wall. big bombs in there. Klitschko's eyes bad, stitched around in the corner. Expert cuts, but we'll have to work on that. I feel like Joshua got caught on left up there, and it's momentarily stunned him. And now he's on his back foot. Is Joshua hurt here? I think they've both been hurt, but Klitschko down in this fifth. Breathing heavy Joshua for a lot of work in there, and he's been caught. Now he's hurt, Joshua! This is amazing, guys. Well, Klitschko, we knew he wasn't just trying to go away. Oh, oh what a hunt from Klitschko there! Massive power punches going in, and Klitschko's looking to take Joshua out! The left, the left hand, he's really badly hurt! The Englishman, and now he's in real trouble! Inside the last minute of the fifth, and he's got to hold, but has he got the experience to weather the storm? He's in desperate trouble here, Joshua. Joshua in bad trouble here, almost there on his feet. Unbelievable stuff here from Klitschko. And a 
astonishing round here in this heavyweight battle of the ages. Vladimir Klitschko down, but Anthony Joshua is on the verge of being stopped unless he finds something. 20 seconds left. Both guys are tired, but they're both digging it out. They're taking it all in. They're putting everything they got in this fight. And now Joshua comes back. They are tired, but they are finding some way to keep punching. Right hand from Klitschko. Oh. And the bell goes. Joshua, what has he got left? We'll see now. Some have felt that the big muscles of Anthony Joshua might be a problem, that he might gas out at some point down a fight. Fifth round, both with huge success, both with weaknesses. What happens next in a fight that's really exploded? That cut is wide of Klitschko. Above the left eye, and he's swinging with the left hook. Is he getting desperate? Just one mouthpiece is out. These guys are putting it all on the line. This is what I always say. This is boxing is no joke. We put our line, we put our heart, we put our life on the line, and these guys are fighting with everything they got in them. So much pride. So much competitive spirit, everything at stake. A clash of heads, Klitschko gets through with the right hand as well, and Joshua nods at him. Well, Joshua talks to him there as Klitschko looks for that right hand, he shakes his head as if to say, you're not landing that one again. But here he comes! Oh! Right hand from Vladimir Klitschko, and Joshua is down! at five, will he make it up? It was a heavier fall than Klitschko's, and there's a minute 40 left in the sixth, one knockdown apiece, but it is now Vladimir Klitschko, again on the verge. That was an explosive shot from Vladimir Klitschko, and Joshua in desperate trouble here, needs to hold, needs to regroup. Think about Joshua, must stay calm at this point, he must not lose composure. Klitschko holds, tries to get the right hands off. Joshua very unsteady on his legs. Will the chin hold up of Joshua? The question marks of Klitschko's chin over the years, but can Anthony Joshua's hold up on the fire? Another left hook from Vladimir Klitschko. He shakes his head, Joshua, but he was stopped in the amateurs. Is he going to be stopped again on his biggest night? Or can he find something from somewhere? I think the experience of Klitschko here under this pressure will be the difference when both men are struggling in the hurt. Klitschko here really just taking his time. At this moment, Klitschko is trying to set him up with his right hand. I've seen this before in camp. He won a fake with his jab and, and, and come down with the right hand. Not just wasting anything, Deontay. Just looking for that left hook or that single right hand because he knows he's one punch away here. Yes. Joshua still there, trying to get back behind his jab. Looking on shaky legs, Joshua. Still punching with power. And listen to the crowd loving this heavyweight spectacle here at Wembley State. In the red corner, we're entering Vladimir Klitschko territory. The 12-round experience. Second half of this compelling, massive heavyweight fight on Carl's unofficial card. Joshua in a narrow lead, the 10 8 rounds, 5 and 6. But most, almost everybody predicted this would not go the distance. Surely it can't. You wouldn't have thought so. I mean, Klitschko there looking for that right hand, and Joshua just dropping that left glove as almost to invite the right hand in. He needs to move, he needs to get his guard up because. This is bad news now for Joshua as Klitschko backs him up looking for them big shots. Bobbing and weaving Joshua, wanted to test himself against the very best. I think Joshua's still trying to recover. His he's, he's punch output is not as it was in the earlier rounds. 
Klitschko again with the left hand, he shakes his head. It's a very different Vladimir Klitschko to the one that was befuddled and bemused by the skills of Tyson Fury. A different start in front of him. He really is just taking his time here, Klitschko, not wanting to trigger that right hand and miss because it will sap so much energy out of these big men. But Joshua worrying signs because he's not fighting back with much at all. And you'd like to see him get the jab going on, maybe throw the right hand to the body as he's on his back foot. He's almost at times a sitting duck, which is really dangerous. The jabs from Klitschko, talking to him in there. They sparred 20 rounds, but that was sparring three years ago with the big gloves. He keeps talking, Joshua. As Klitschko's leaning on, that's also a method of trying to get him even more tired with Klitschko clearing and leans on you. He's draining, you're right. Klitschko knows these tricks, though. He's been there, seen it, and done it before. He's been hurt himself before. Joshua's in total new territory here. I totally agree with you, with you call. That's what the experience come from. And still light on his feet, Vladimir Klitschko. Good job from Klitschko. Landing home with that jab. He'll be comfortable enough with that as long as he's landing the jab. He knows the right hand can follow. Joshua needs to try and get something going here. Maybe jab the shoulder, jab the stomach, keep that defense nice and tight, but try to get something going because he's on his back foot almost waiting to be hit. Both the young lion and the old campaigner have hauled themselves up off the canvas. Obsession for Vladimir Klitschko and a path says Anthony Joshua and there he's trying to get something going with a combination and now Vladimir Klitschko gives him the nod of approval whatever happens here I bet we're heading for a rematch it was always going to be a gamble if I'm not mistaken Joshua had never seen a crown at Izzy first time the bell tolls for Anthony Joshua for the eighth round, the white stripes, if you need any identification, of AJ and WK, who's already rewinding the clock with his performance. What a fighter he's been. Smashed through Joe Lewis's record of 28 World Heavyweight title fights. Whatever you think of his style, his strategy over the years, he's a Hall of Famer and he should be applauded. What's well, coming to do this is amazing at 41. He's got the young man there in heaps of trouble. And his footwork is just unbelievable to see for a heavyweight. And for an aging heavyweight, it's, I'm sure it's never been seen. It's, it's unbelievable. Joshua, I feel because he's younger, he may recover. He's had a couple of rounds off. He may just start to feel like he's getting some energy back. He's trying to get behind the jab here, but he's a big man. There's a lot of muscle there, swallowing up that oxygen. He's trying to get his jab going, which is a good one, Joshua. But Klitschko has utilised that better at times tonight. I think Klitschko's a little buzzed. That, that left hook was a very effective left hook. Yeah, good spot. Deontay, wild there from Klitschko. Looking for the right hand there, Klitschko didn't quite set it up, so Joshua saw it coming, slipped under it. Joshua on the attack now. Seems to be getting his feet back under him, seems to be putting more shots together. Maybe he is recovering, maybe he's managed to put the effects of that knockdown behind him. Deep breaths, though, as well from Joshua. He just stalks you, Vladimir Klitschko. So awkwardly effective. He puts pressure on with the feet, backs you up. You can see him, you can feel him coming, and there's nothing happening. Then all of a sudden, that right hand down the pipe, so effective. You can see the experience and the wisdom of Klitschko wasting nothing here. Klitschko all right hands. The pair swap lever. The only thing about Klitschko is his, when he throws a jab, he always comes down to his hip as he's finished with it. If Joshua can time that to come with the one-two, he can make him change the momentum of this thing. He turns off behind that shoulder though, so effectively Klitschko, and almost makes that right hand impossible to land. But he does leave a gap, and Josh can exploit that if he times it right. Heads coming close again. Referee splits them up. It's flowed for the most. We're deep into the eighth now of this fascinating battle to watch.
Well, Klitschko will be quite happy. He's very experienced. He's landing the jab. He'll be happy with the jab landing. Keeping Joshua off balance, just keeping ahead on the scores with that jab. But here comes Joshua, and we need something from him. Real motivation again from Robert McQuack. And look how quick Vladimir Klitschko is out and dancing on his feet. It's an incredible performance this already from Klitschko. 17 months out, no ring rust. Just let you know that age is nothing but a number. There's my score, Carl. I've got Klitschko one round ahead. Not really much in this. But Klitschko winning the last couple of rounds behind his jab. RTL, our German colleagues at ringside, have Klitschko two points up. Showtime have him one point up. They're just behind us. What is Klitschko doing? He's trying to come out and he's trying to set his own pace. He wants Joshua to, to follow his momentum. Lots of movement from Klitschko, in and out with the jab, side to side, trying to almost circle Josh, just keep him off balance, not allowing Joshua to set. The more the more he's doing, he's no Joshua has never been past the seven. And the tire he's trying to get him, the more he bounces around and... I feel like the dangerous stage for Joshua has been and gone now, and he seems to be recovering. But all yeah. that experience, even if they weren't pretty, the wins over Sultan Ibrahimov, who went late, Hey, Marius Fack, Alexander Povetkin, Brian Jennings. He and knows just... how 12 rounds work, Vladimir Klitschko. He does, very experienced at 12 rounds in the championships rounds. He's been here before. This is all new for Joshua. Joshua poking out the jab. Can he get the crisp combinations together that Robert McCracken was calling for? Can he negate that Klitschko jab? Good right hand there from Joshua. He needs to start trying to get something going. Steps in there, cheeky little left hook to the body. And coming together with the clinch. Klitschko so effective at tying his opponent up. Lennox Lewis just behind us. Lost his. Unbeaten record to Oliver McCall over at Wembley Arena. There was only a couple of thousand there that night. There's 90,000 here, all that pressure on Anthony Joshua's shoulders. But he's lapped it up. He's still in there. But he's behind. Most people feel at ringside. There's a right hand from Joshua. What twists and turns are in the championship rounds. There's that experience from Klitschko again, tying his man up. Joshua's not used to this. If Joshua is feeling like he's recovering, and the engine does feel like it's getting, you know, a bit more energy inside, he needs to start working. This is where he needs to start letting the punches go. Seven and eight, but he's getting back into it now. I think that round was very close, almost even, and now I want to see more work from Joshua. Here he comes, and this is what I want to see. He has, he, he looked like he didn't woke up a little bit. He didn't pass the seven round and say, it's not, it's not that bad. Yep, psychologically, now he hears the bell for the tenth. Nine minutes to go in this high educational fight for Anthony Joshua. He's learning more minute by minute than he has in his whole amateur and professional career to date. Most definitely, it's fascinating that you can um, have such a torrid round six, go over and get up, just stay with it, stay confident, stay composed. He's got Rob McCracken in his corner, one of the best in the business. And Joshua seems to be recovered now and seems to be steady on his feet. So he was so unsteady for a couple of rounds, it was so worrying. Klitschko doing much of the same, not imposed himself enough really to take this. Yeah, Vladimir Klitschko down in the fifth. Joshua down in the sixth. And a heavier knockdown. And it looked at one point that he might be taken out, but he's recovered well. He's done that bit, Anthony Joshua. Recovered well, and that's a credit to his fitness and his conditioning team. But look at Vladimir Klitschko with the jab. That authoritative weapon. Jab so effective from Klitschko, he doesn't seem to be looking for that right hand or even throwing the right hand anymore. And how good does Tyson Fury's win over Vladimir Klitschko look now? Well, it was an awkward, almost disjointed win from 
from Tyson Fury, but it, it was a great win, wasn't it? Let's be honest, take nothing away from, from what Tyson Fury achieved that night. Tyson Fury, who actually wished Anthony Joshua well on social media and said, knock out Klitschko and then we'll go to war. That's a long way in the future. That's another little trick of Klitschko, though. Bend him over and come with the right hands up while the ref can't see that, those things. The old fox, the ring craft, the yes. tricks of the trade. That's right. But there's nothing to separate these two athletes in this ring now because they're both looking for a shot, not quite finding it. Klitschko maybe just being a bit more fit with the jab. But difficult for either of them to get anything going. Right hand from Klitschko, back comes Joshua. Holding on, trying to work the body on the inside. That knowledge of Klitschko, and again, the light dancing on the feet. Oh, a big shot there. Walked into a big right hand there, Joshua. Did he land his own? Yeah, Klitschko's back facing me. Didn't quite see the angle, but I think they both landed right hand. But here comes Klitschko at the end of the round. A couple of shots at the end of the... Tenth round, Anthony Joshua. Big shots, though, at the beginning of the 11th. And Anthony Joshua is now going for it. And Klitschko's got to hold on. More drama in this Blue Ribbon division. Klitschko what was hurt there. next? Vladimir Klitschko hurt. People on their feet at ringside. Can Anthony Joshua find the punches to turn this fight around again? Klitschko looks unsteady. Hopefully he don't punch himself out. He's doing a good job. He's got to stay calm at this point. He still got him bust. He still got him hurt. I don't want him to punch himself out. Sloppy looking punches there from Joshua after that nice right hand that landed there early in the round. Klitschko seems to recover. Joshua almost running on empty. Klitschko with his experience now. Good. Cause problems for Josh. Looking for that right hand there. There's nothing in this round. Good punches landed from both men. But I like the success from Joshua. What Tony Bellew was saying there was Joshua needs to impose his style, put his shots together. It's all right saying it, but it's another thing doing it. If you feel it's a oh, oh, good shot there. from Anthony Joshua and Vladimir Klitschko took it. But Joshua's going. Welcome guys, thanks for joining me again in this update. I hope you're all well. Okay guys, so the fight between Anthony Joshua and Vladimir Klitschko, which took place on April 29th, 2017 at Wembley Stadium in London, is widely regarded as one of the most exciting and dramatic heavyweight boxing matches in recent history. Anthony Joshua came into the fight as the IBF heavyweight champion with a perfect record of 18 wins and no losses. All wins by knockout. 
Vladimir Klitschko, the veteran and former long reigning heavyweight champion, was looking to reclaim the IBO and WBA titles he lost to Tyson Fury back in 2015. Klitschko had an impressive record of 64 wins and 4 losses. So we truly saw an ebb and flow between the two fighters where AJ managed to obtain a knockdown and then Klitschko returned the favour and after taking a round or two to recover AJ picked up a second wind and then went in for the kill to secure a TKO victory. Now this fight for me was a passing of the torch moment where Joshua emerged as the new face of the heavyweight division while Klitschko cemented his legacy as one of the all time greats. It was an interesting and entertaining fight to watch. My only thing with this fight is that I believe AJ was carrying too much muscle mass. It's almost like his physique was part of the branding as opposed to what the training would have demanded. Consequently, I think Klitschko was able to get his knockdown because AJ fatigued significantly after throwing his weighted punches. For me, his densely packed physique was a heavy liability in this fight. Like always, let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Anyway guys, that's all for now. I really hope you've enjoyed watching the video. Please remember to smash the like button if you have enjoyed watching this particular update. Remember to leave a comment within the comment section if you want to add anything about Anthony AJ Joshua. So until my next one, peace out.